Hi, this is Sheila Scarborough with Tourism Currents, and this screencast is going to show you how to find out when your Facebook page followers are most active on Facebook. We're going to show you two different ways to determine that. And that's because you want to post on your Facebook page when your followers are most likely to see it, i.e. when most of them are online on Facebook. Now, that doesn't mean that you're always going to post at exactly the same time. It's going to change around based on seasons sometimes too. And if you have international visitors or visitors or customers in other time zones, you're going to want to post in time zones that are not your own to make sure you get in front of them as well. So two different ways to find out when your page followers are most active on Facebook. The first one is pretty basic. It doesn't give you a big data set, but it's quick. It's fast. It's a down and dirty way to find out. We're looking at the Tourism Currents Facebook page right now, and we're gonna go up here to the top to Insights. You'll only see this if you are an administrator of a page. Insights is your Facebook page analytics, your data. So we're gonna click Insights, let it load there, and then we are going to go over here to Posts. So Insights and then Posts. Click Posts, and this comes up which will show you, and you just saw it kind of jump around a little bit there, which will show you when your followers are most active. Let me, and you'll see up here, right, when your fans are online. Data shown for a recent one week period, doesn't say exactly when. Note here the time zone. This is great for Leslie McClellan, who's on the Tourism Currents team, but I'm in the central time zone. So looking at this data, I'm gonna to have to do some mental math, right? But let's scroll down a little bit and this is what you can find out from this when your fans are online. This gray part down here is kind of the average activity of your or the Tourism Currents Facebook page followers. But up here, you can go by day and see when the spikes are, when people are most active. So look, there's a big bump on Sunday night toward the evening as people settle in and check out Facebook, maybe before they go to bed on Sunday night. Also a little bit during the day. Let's scroll here to Monday. Big spike in the morning, uh, first thing, and then people get busy with their work day, and then there's another spike later on in the, the, in the evening at the end of the day. Tuesday, again, it's a little bit different. And this is the point we want to make here is that this is a good visualization of don't depend on things being the same every day of the week for your Facebook page followers. It's not, and so that's going to change what times you need to be posting. Wednesday, kind of tracking along there, maybe mid-morning, a little busy. Thursday, actually a pretty slow day for our particular Facebook page. Again, this is just data for the followers of Tourism Currents' Facebook page. You need to look at your data for your page to see what's different. But kind of slow on Thursdays, a uh, little bit slow for us on Fridays, but as you can see, does pick up at the end of the day as people are getting ready to leave work or have left work. And then Saturday, again, don't blow off weekends for posting because people are on Facebook. Uh, you can see a spike there mid-morning and a spike in the early evening on Saturdays for the Tourism Currents Facebook page. So again, we got to this particular item called when your fans are online by clicking insights and then posts. But again, this is only one week's worth of data. So that's method one for finding out when your page followers are most active. Let's look at another method, a little more uh, complicated, but gives you more detail. And so let's go over here to this tab. We're in Facebook Ads Manager now, okay? Scroll over to Ads Manager, facebook.com slash ads manager, okay? And there's a drop down. All kinds of stuff here in Ads Manager. One thing you need to focus on over here under Measure and Report, you see me scroll down here to Analytics. I'm going to click Analytics in Ads Manager. Give it a minute to load. You can also just go to facebook.com slash analytics and it has different pages and things. I'm going to zoom in here on the Tourism Currents Facebook page. I've got uh, some other pages but they don't have data but I do have it for the Tourism Currents page. I will click that 
And this is going to take me to more detailed analytics about the followers of my Facebook page. There's all kinds of stuff here, but we're just going to focus on the data about when our page's followers are most active online. So you got to give it a minute to load. This stuff all pops up, lots of different boxes and things. But what we're actually looking for is this box. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here in Analytics in Ads Manager, and you'll see this engagement metrics, active users by hour, okay? This is also in Pacific time zone, so I've got to make some adjustments. In the last 28 days, this is the data that we have for when our page followers are most active. And this big old box here is on Mondays, Mon this, and it pops up. See, as you move around to the different boxes, the, bo the times change. But for us, the busiest time on our Facebook page is on at least the last 28 days is Mondays from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pacific time. So I'm going to have to add a couple hours. That means for me, uh, you know, 10 to 11 central time and so forth. You got to make that adjustment. You can change that in the settings in here, but we're just going to stick with Pacific for now. I think Pacific is the default. Um, so there's other things, you know, it goes from 15 unique users to 10. So basically the dark boxes are telling you when your followers are most active. And you can move around and it jumps, you know, back and forth here letting you know. But for us, obviously, Mondays, that particular time there with that black box is very active. Now, we I, before I decide that, okay, I'm going to go with that time, I always go up here and I change it from the last 28 days to another one. You can make a custom run here too, but I also like to pull back and look at the last 90 days. So you can click that and let it resort itself and reload and see if the data is any different. Maybe you've just had some kind of weird seasonal spike in the last 28 days. And then you get the same information, only now it's taking a 90-day look at it. Uh, and some of the boxes have changed. Some of the information has changed. But yeah, there it is. Monday is our big active time, 8 to 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, is when our page followers are most active on Facebook. And that's it. Two different ways. You want to find it here under Insights, Posts, and it only gives you a week's worth of data, but it's quick. Or you can go into your Facebook.com slash analytics, and you can look at a whole bunch of different ways. We just take 28 days and this 90 days over here, the drop down is where you can make that change to really get more granular about when your followers are most active on Facebook. And that's it. I'm Sheila Scarborough with Tourism Currents. Thanks.